any flight when you're going on holidays is a good flight. So I know this is going to be a good flight and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm flying with Jetstar for the very first time in economy class from Melbourne through to Bali to Denpasar. It's on their 787 aircraft, wide body. I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, their flagship service, as it were, in economy class. So uh, join me and uh, let's go and see what they're like. Here's a tip for frequent flyers. I might be flying Jetstar Economy. However, as a uh, platinum frequent flyer, I've still got access into the first class lounge with Qantas. So uh, time for a gin and tonic, a little bite to eat. Cheers, here's to a great flight. I booked this flight using Qantas frequent flyer points and we had a connecting Qantas domestic flight from Adelaide as part of the same ticket. We were able to check in our bags straight through from Adelaide. Normally Jetstar's lowest fares do not include baggage, but frequent flyer redemption tickets have a 20 kilogram baggage allowance. So we're up in the air, the seatbelt sign has just come on. I'm not sure if it's because it's a Denpasar flight, but we've already been told four times since boarding that they can limit the uh, service and consumption of alcohol and that you're not allowed to consume your, old duty, your own duty-free alcohol on board. Um, something tells me they may have had a few issues on this route in the past. Anyway, so far so good. The Jetstar Economy Class cabin on the 787 is laid out in a 333 configuration. There are two main Economy Class cabins, each of which is packed full of seats. In addition to this, there is a small Economy Class cabin of just three rows at the front of the aircraft just behind the Business Class cabin. The seats themselves were very comfortable. They were upholstered in leather, were well padded and offered good support as well as a fully adjustable headrest. A functional tray table was provided and above this was an individual entertainment screen and USB power socket. There was also a universal power point between the seats but I didn't film it. Legroom was okay as was the recline. As you recline the seat base also moves forward. All in all these were very good economy class seats. Frequent fly bookings do not include any drinks or meals on board. However, some Jetstar fares do include meals, and you can also pre-purchase meals on the Jetstar website before your flight. Once we were in the air, these pre-ordered meals were served first. After this, the trolley came around for the rest of us to buy from the menu, which seemed to have plenty of choices. Whilst I was tempted to order eight Bundys and Coke in order to test the alcohol limit, I resisted and instead went for just one gin and tonic and some cheese and crackers. My wife ordered a falafel and quinoa salad, which she reckons was pretty tasty. I thought the in-flight entertainment system was excellent. It was a two-tier system with a basic amount of content provided free and then the option to buy access to a full range of movies and TV shows for $10 for the entire flight. Each passenger is also provided with some earphones upon boarding. 
The system's free content included the route map, some Jetstar videos, and lots of audio, including various podcasts and even some meditation sessions so you can zen out during the flight. For $10, you get access to the full system, which included lots of movies, TV shows, and music. This aircraft was not Wi-Fi enabled. The flight proved to be uneventful, with not a single alcohol-related incident to be seen. I therefore sat back and relaxed, using my fancy new memory foam neck pillow from Australian company East. East had sent me a free sample a couple of days before the flight, so I was keen to try it out. I like it, and I've put their web address in the description below. For those of you not from Australia, here's an indication of how big Australia is. It took us a full four hours from departure before we crossed the Australian coastline on the north of the country. This is why the comfort of long-haul travel is so important for Australian travellers. Just like New Zealanders, we're a long way from everywhere. About six hours from Melbourne, we landed in Denpasar, Bali. Overall, this was a very comfortable flight, and this 787 is certainly a much more comfortable option than the Jetstar A320 or the Qantas 737s that fly to Bali from many Australian cities. So that was Jetstar to Bali on the Bintang Express. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't done so, please check out my channel where you'll find a whole lot of other videos. In the meantime, as always, happy travels.